Even though this current genocide in Gaza may have started between Israel and Hamas, it is also an American war against the Palestinian people. And Kamala Harris would like Americans to think that she will both work for Israel's security while also, as she said in her speech, work for a ceasefire and Palestinian self-determination. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself. And I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom. The U.S. is responsible for war crimes all around the world, so it's no surprise to many of us that the Biden-Harris administration has made these statements, but that their actions have been completely different, showing at best that, as per always, it's all talk and no action. So here are the facts. In the case of the ceasefire, the Biden administration has vetoed three ceasefire resolutions and only passed one. However, the one that they did allow to pass required it to be called non-binding and required the release of Israeli hostages. There are known to be a little more than 100 Israelis currently captive. Meanwhile, Israel has taken more than eight thousand Palestinians captive since October 7th. Yet the US only includes the requirement to release that small number of Israelis, not Palestinians. Tying the hostages to a ceasefire is not only a total lie, it's a way to collectively punish the civilian population, yet another war crime and violation of the Fourth Geneva Convention. Not only has the administration not supported a ceasefire, but Biden supported the sending of another $20 billion in weapons to Israel. And on self-determination, the US was the only country to vote against Palestinian statehood on April 18th, vetoing its recognition as a state. The reason given by the administration is that they would only agree to statehood with an agreed-upon negotiation between Israel and Palestine. But since Israeli leadership of course doesn't want a Palestinian state, that means that the US's statement in support of Palestinian self-determination is yet another lie. The first crucial step toward Palestinian sovereignty is enforcing a permanent ceasefire today. The Biden-Harris administration has all the power in the world to make an immediate impact by halting all weapons shipments to Israel. These actions are within reach and can be done immediately. If they aren't taken, it's clear that both President Biden and Democratic nominee Harris have chosen to uphold the status quo, all for the sake of profit and power. We cannot stand by and watch empty words replace meaningful action. The time to mobilize is now. Let's not vote for the better of two evils. Let's demand that our leaders act with courage and integrity for the sake of justice. Demand more from your government. Disrupt their profits, block ships and chains that are fueling this genocide. And boycott companies that are in support of all of these atrocities and then some. Till Palestine is free.